Hi, my name is Dr. Kay Sweetser from San Diego State University. And in research, we all know that there's two main types of research. There's primary research, which is research that we do ourselves. We um, write the survey and we go out and we collect the data in writing the exact questions that we want to know from our target publics. And then we analyze it. But there's another kind of research that's called secondary research. And secondary research is extremely helpful to public relations practitioners because secondary research really makes an efficient use of data that someone else has collected, a really expensive project, honestly, data that other people have collected, and then you are able to apply it to your particular publics. So for example, a place that I might use secondary research is if I was trying to understand how many people use a particular new social media tool um, and how many people within my general target audience, you know, demographic, psychographic that I'm working with and, and create that sort of profile of how prevalent that tool is among that group. I really don't have the PR budget to go out and to do that kind of a, a survey research um, project in order to understand um, with really quality, uh, reliable and valid data of how, how these particular people use this social media um, product. However, um, there are people out there, organizations out there that publish this type of data all the time. And so when I take their study that they have published, um, like a white paper specifically, when I take their white paper that says, hey, here's who's using this particular social media um, uh, platform, and here's how they use it, and here's why they use it, and there's really not theory or anything attached to it, it's more like a, a pulse um, of today type of data, then that secondary research can be so helpful to me. Um, and so as a practitioner, I would incorporate the secondary research into my situation analysis. And so if I'm trying to tell a more um, larger scale, uh, you know, situation of the world around us, then, uh, but I don't want to go out and actually, you know, do that expensive um, types of research because I know I can get it out there for um, really for free through these white papers, um, then I would make good use of secondary research. So examples of secondary research that I might use, of course, uh, you know, social media platform use. Um, that would be one that I would use. Um, I might use um, other demographic data like, um, you know, uh, how people use media or um, what it is uh, that they turn to um, to make political decisions, like a poll kind of a data. Or um, if I was doing something in San Diego on veterans, um, I might look at some sort of study that talked about how many veterans there were in San Diego. If I was doing something on mental health, how many um, people need mental health uh, resources, what types of mental health resources are there, what are the barriers that people report, you know, just general types of survey questions in these white papers that will help explain um, a little bit of uh, almost like a buttress to the argument that I'm making in my situation analysis. And so with that, then I want to tell you a couple of different places that I like to get secondary data. Um, again, I'm, I'm really focusing my secondary data mostly on white papers. And so these are not journal articles. You're not getting like the scholarly theoretical view. These are like no kidding, um, lower level type um, surveys and polls. And so while they're done in a rigorous manner, they just don't have um, uh, the, the theory behind them. And so they're, they tend to be put out by organizations that collect data or um, share data as just a part of their organization. So things like the Gallup um, poll, that's a really great secondary research source. Um, every year Edelman does a trust barometer that talks about the different levels of trust that there are in different institutions like government and corporations and media, et cetera. Um, the Institute for Public Relations has been putting out uh, white papers on um, specific topics. And a recent one uh, a couple of years ago was on disinformation. Um, the Planck Center um, works with the North American Communication Monitor and they do a, um, a sister study to a European one where they look at um, communication professionals and they talk about um, you know just general things about uh, people who are working in different um, communication industry jobs. Um, so those are some other really good ones. Um, Pew uh, Charitable Trusts has Pew 
pewresearch.org, pewresearch.org, and pewresearch.org is a huge powerhouse of all kinds of um, amazing, very reputable secondary data um, that you can get from them too. So those are some of my favorite sources for secondary data. You're going to use secondary data in your situation analysis in order to um, really support some of the uh, um, understanding that, that you're trying to explain away about your problem that you're facing or um, the situation that your client is in. Give that higher um, picture, kind of more societal view of how this is an issue. Um, and you don't have to do the research yourself. You can just grab a white paper from someone else. So enjoy your uh, searching for secondary research and have a great time.